Hello, I'm Kristen Rogers. It's Tuesday, January 9th. Here's a look at today's top stories from your trusted local news source. Snow removal teams have been on the road since Monday night, salting and sanding the roads in preparation for today. Now they're working to plow roads, snow from the roads, keeping things clear for drivers. By last evening, crews in North Liberty and Cedar Rapids had already pre-treated the streets in preparation for any amount of snow. Now they're out plowing those same roads. Cedar Rapids Street Superintendent Brian McLeod says once the snow stops falling, they will be able to have the city plowed out within the following 12 hours. Once it gets cold, the snow sticks around for a while, so the cleanup part of it can take a little bit more time, but as far as being able to travel the streets, that should be able to be accomplished within a 12 hour period. Many city officials are advising drivers to stay home during the storm if they can. If you have to drive, they say to give yourself enough space between your car and the car in front of you and be mindful of snow plows while on the road. The Iowa Department of Transportation expects to have hundreds of plows out working to clear the roads throughout the day. The Winter Operations Administrator says the plow drivers average between two and three hours to clear their routes. He says supervisors will determine whether operators can stay out during the storm or if they need to be pulled from the roads. We don't like to do that. We want to stay out there to continue to get the roads back into good winter driving condition. But if it becomes a safety issue, yes, we have been uh, known to pull plows for a period of time until those, until those conditions get back into a, a safe parameter for our operators. If you do have to travel today, he recommends utilizing 511 for the latest road conditions. In a TV9 follow up, state investigators are identifying the five officers involved in a police chase and shootout in Cedar Rapids. The incident ended with a 20 year old man dead. Officers also took into custody a 17 year old passenger who got out of the car during the chase. The Division of Criminal Investigation named these five officers. They say all five are cooperating with the investigation and are on administrative leave. This happened New Year's Day. Court documents say Michael Griffin shot at a home on Longwood Drive with an AR-15 style rifle. A chase started when police found the vehicle he was driving. Investigators say he fired several times at officers during the chase. It ended on Mount Vernon Road Southeast where his vehicle went off the road. Court documents say the officers heard a gunshot coming from inside the car. Officers believed Griffin was continuing to shoot, so they returned fire. Griffin was found dead in the car. An autopsy has not been released. A federal appeals court is upholding two of Iowa's trespassing laws. They make it illegal for someone to trespass on agricultural property and record images or data. The laws had been subject to debate, with some calling them ag gag laws. They're designed to stop animal welfare groups from secretly filming livestock abuse happening on the properties. The Iowa legislature passed the laws in 2019 and 2021. A federal judge struck down the laws in 2022. While the legislative session has already begun, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds will lay out her priorities in today's Condition of the State Address. Reynolds will highlight Iowa's accomplishments from 2023 while addressing the direction the state is heading. The speech begins at 6 p.m. tonight. It will be live streamed on the governor's Facebook page and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.